guys, I'm Karina and welcome to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I'm going to be sharing with you three quick and easy snack ideas. All of these snacks are super easy to make. They're pretty filling as well, so they're going to keep you full for a long time and they are delicious. So let's start off with my all-time favorite, which is Masala Maggi. Start off by cutting three green chilies, half a green bell pepper, one tomato and one onion. Now add three spoons of oil to a pan and once the oil heats up, add the green chilies, the green bell peppers and the onions to that. Once the onion gets translucent, now it's time to add all the spices. So at first I'm going to add one spoon of turmeric, then I'll add one spoon of coriander powder and I'm going to add one spoon of chili powder. Now I'm going to add the masala that comes in the noodle pack and I'm going to add two of these since I'm making two packets of noodles. Once you've added these ingredients to the pan, keep mixing the mixture every few minutes and after 3-5 to five minutes, add the tomatoes to the pan as well. Now stir the tomato into the mixture so that it can get cooked as well. Let this mixture cook for 3-5 to five minutes and then add 2 full glasses of water to the pan and then add 2 spoons of salt as well. Bring your stove to a high heat so that the water can start boiling just like this and then once it does, add all the noodles to the pan. And that's it! This is all you have to do to make this maggi. And now just let the water boil so that the noodle gets cooked and once the water evaporates, you can turn the stove off. I personally like to have my maggi a little soupy. It just tastes so much better. But yeah, this looks so good and it tastes really good as well. But let me warn you, once you have this maggi, you're never going to go back to having maggi the regular way. Oh my god, that is so good. I usually end up making this Maggie at least once a week because it's delicious. I know it's not the healthiest option, but it just tastes so good. And now I'm going to share with you my second favorite recipe, which is mushroom rice. And this is so good as well. It literally takes me less than five minutes and it's delicious. So in order to make the mushroom rice, I usually end up making the rice at least 2-3 to three hours in advance. So that's what I've done over here. And now I'm going to take this box of mushrooms and cut it up into thin slices just like this. I'll also cut up some green onions, 3 cloves of garlic and 1 red onion. The secret to this recipe is butter. So add a lot of butter to the pan and you can also add a little bit of oil as well. Once that starts boiling, you can add your garlic, your red onions and your green onions to the pan. Now let this cook for 3-5 to five minutes and keep mixing it so that it cooks evenly. Once the red onions turn translucent, you can add your mushrooms to the pan and mix it up. Once the mushroom releases its water content, you can add the rice to the pan. Now mix it all up very gently and this is why I like using cold rice instead of really hot rice so that it does not break while I'm mixing it up. If you've noticed, so far we haven't added any spices to the rice and that's why you should add a lot of black pepper because that will really give a good flavor to this dish. And finally, add 1 tablespoon of salt to the rice and mix it all up. And that's it! We're done with this recipe and I absolutely love making this because it takes less than 5 minutes to make and it tastes delicious. So the final recipe that I'm going to share with you is poha. I usually call it pawa. But it's been a year that my husband and I actually started this tradition of having cha and pawa every Sunday morning. And I actually like it because it's pretty healthy, it's very nutritious and it's super easy to make. To start this off, add the rice flakes to a sieve and run it under cold water. Now make sure the water is really cold and not hot because the hot water will actually make the rice flakes very soggy. As for the rice flakes, I'm using this medium one and based on my experience, the medium and thick one are really good. Now cut half a tomato, one red onion, four to five chilies and rinse some curry leaves. Add three spoons of oil and two spoons of ghee in a pan and once that heats up, add some peanuts to that and roast it. Once the peanuts have turned a little brown, add the red onions, the curry leaves and the green chilies to the pan and mix it up. 
Once the onions turn translucent, add one spoon of turmeric powder, add one tablespoon of salt, add two tablespoons of sugar, and add two tablespoons of lemon juice to the pan and once again mix it all up. Now let this cook for three to five minutes and then finally add the rice flakes to the pan and mix it up. Mix it very gently and make sure that all the rice flakes are coated with the mixture. Now finally add the tomato to the pan and you're done making this delicious boa. To garnish it, top it off with some coriander leaves and you can also add some save on top for a little bit of crunch. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, do let me know which one of these recipes was your favorite in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to my channel since I post two new videos every single week. Have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next video. Bye!